I will play for you one short piece. Um, half of it I will play on um, the 3D printed violin, and then I switch to the normal one, so you can, in a very close proximity, you can see the difference in sound. Thank you, Anna. What, what, I, I was pretty close, I was pretty nearby, so I could, I could hear the difference also in volume, in, I think you call that the projection of the... Yes, I yeah. mean, it's actually, it's both. There are two different things. I mean, one, hmm. the obvious thing is that the violin, the 3D printed violin just sounds less. It's quite less, small in sound. Right. Um, but it also doesn't really project. So right now we have um, mics, we have also a lot of extra noise. But normally the hall is used for the classical music concerts and it's very beautiful for its acoustics. Right, normally if you would play the violin, it wouldn't be mic, there wouldn't be like all these uh, speakers, it would just be the violin. And that is something that you couldn't do right now with the, you wouldn't reach the people in the back, yeah, that's, right? I mean, we didn't really try it, it's an experiment, but uh, I, I assume I'm all for experiments. Could, could, could we... Um, uh, Kill the microphone, that doesn't sound very nice. Uh, could you shut down the volume of uh, Johanna's microphone and then just listen to the plain sound of the violin? Okay. Could you say something? All right. <laughs> I see people in the back going like, ah, thank you. <laughs> One other thing that I noticed um, when you played the traditional violin, your whole body posture changed. You became one with the... Is, is it your own instrument? He, well, it doesn't belong to me, but I play it for eight years now. It's yours. And yeah, All right. this is my baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that, that, that didn't happen with the 3D violin. You think, is, is that possible that you become one with this instrument? Wow, that's a big question. Um, I think, for, I mean, very practical thing. It's just much heavier than the normal mm. violin. So I 
can't imagine to play the whole long concert on it as I can do it with a normal violin. But I mean, it, there is a, you know, it's, it's an incredible thing that that actually plays. I, I can't really <laughs> believe that it sounds like a violin, actually. But um, it is missing a certain vibration. I mean, the very special thing about every wooden violin is that every is one of a kind because it's handmade. So every single instrument has um, spots and notes which are a little bit weaker, a little bit stronger. Right. So as a musician, when you get to know the instrument, you just look for the spots. Each so instrument has its character, and yeah, each and 3D product would be the same as the other. Exactly Is the there same, something yeah. especially that you could do with this violin that you couldn't do with the wooden? Is there? <laughs> <laughs> OK, that's obvious. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I was actually talking to a friend today, and uh, she asked a similar question, you know, what it would be good for. And um, she made actually a point I didn't think about before, that it maybe it could be used for non-classical music things, you know, for studio things, when it's actually amplified. Because right. it is so equal that you probably could modify the sound much more than the sound of a natural violin. But in classical music world, I would say no. Right, so the ukulele is like 10, 10 euros, and there we have the poor man's Stradivarius then. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, time's <laughs> up, but could you please just one encore on, uh, on, on the 3D violin and then a short piece on the, yes. on the wooden? I will just uh, play a um, short piece, uh, Polish Capriccio, uh, which will show you a little bit of a slow opening and virtuoso part, so to show you what the violin can do. Although you cannot really print imperfection, like on the violin, which the imperfection is that what gives beauty to music for me, but uh, it's still quite astonishing. 